In this video we will build together Angular alert or Angular notification on the top of the page without any additional libraries. And if you just want to use a library and you don't want to implement anything, I can highly recommend you a library NGB Bootstrap that I used a lot or you can also use Angular Material. Here you already get a component alert which is closable with different configuration, but here we want to create our own alert, so we are in a full control how it is working inside. So what is the idea? First of all, we have in different places of our applications some logic to show our alert. And our alert is always in the same place on the top of the page, which actually means we must render it in app component and not in every single component. But then we need something shareable which can call this alert and show it. And after some time this alert must disappear. Which actually means we need two different things. First of all alert component, which will be just rendered. And secondly a service which will manage this alert. And in order to do that I want to create inside source app a new folder and call it alert. And here inside let's create an alert component, which I will make a standalone component. So here alert component TS and alert component HTML. And we also need some styling, so alert component CSS. So first of all let's render at least a word alert so we can see that our component is working. And inside TS we must create a new component decorator. And here we want to provide a selector alert, then a template URL that we just created, it is alert component HTML, and also style URLs. And here we will have an array with alert component CSS. And here we can export our new class, which is alert component. But it is not all, as we want to use it as a standalone component, we must say here standalone true. And in this case we can use it without a module. Our next step will be to render it inside our app component on the top. This is why here I can render alert component. And in order to access it we must inject this component inside our app component. This is why I am jumping inside app component TS. Yes. As you can see it is also standalone. And here we must import our alert. In other case our app component does not know what is alert and how to render it. As you can see here now we don't have any errors and inside our browser we can see here alert word, which actually means our component is rendered successfully. Now inside alert component I want to create several types. Why is that? Because essentially first of all we have some types of our alert like success, danger or warning and secondly we want some interface for the alert. This is why here first of all I want to create alert type dot enum dot ts and here will be our enum and here we want to store all possible values of our alert type this is why inside alert type enum we can create success and it will be our string success then info it will be just a string info warning it is a warning string and danger which will be a danger string so our enum for alert type is ready now we must create our alert interface ts and here we can export our interface, which will be alert interface. And here we have two things. First of all, we have a type, which is exactly our alert type enum. And secondly, we have some text that we want to display. It will be a string. Now let's try to render some alert. I want to jump back inside our alert component. And here I want to define an alert. And the type will be alert interface. And here it must be an object with two properties. First of all here we must provide a type, for example alert type enum dot danger and secondly some text, for example this is a test alert. And now it is already enough to write our markup, this is why let's jump inside alert component html and here we can render just a div with text from our alert. First of all we want to render this alert only if we have an alert, if it is empty then we don't need to render it. And here inside I want to render alert.text and additionally I want to apply some styles. This is why here I want to use ng class and provide inside two classes as an array. First of all alert class it will be always there, but secondly a class of our alert type. This is why here I will write alert.type. And this is a variable and just to remind you it is either warning, danger, success or info. Which actually means now we must create styles for every single alert type. Let's jump inside CSS and create it. 
So first of all, let's write some styles for our alert. We need here padding 16 pixels, then border radius 6 pixels, font size 16 pixels, and font weight 400. Now we want to create class for every single case. This is why here I will paste these classes. As you can see, I have here success, info, warning, and danger. And just to remind you, you can take the source code from the description, so you should not retype all these colors and backgrounds. So our styles are there, let's check if it's working. By getting here, an error cannot bind to ng class, since it is not a known property of the div. And it happens because inside our alert component, we didn't provide a required common module. This is why here inside imports, we must add common module. Now we don't have an error, let's look in browser, voila, here is our test alert, which is a danger, this is why it is red, with red color, with text that we provided. But we don't really want to render alert just like this, we want to control it through service. This is why we must create here a service and use it from the outside. And inside our alert component I want to create services and inside we want alert service.ts. And here I want to register our service with injectable decorator and provide it inside root. Now here let's export our class which will be our alert service. So what we need here, we need some notifier where we can set alert and then subscribe to it. And actually subject from RxJS really fits this bill. This is why here I want to create a private property alert with dollar. And here I want to assign new subject. And what we must provide inside our subject is alert interface, which actually means inside our subject to make changes, we must provide alert interface with type and text. And now here we can create two functions, first of all set alert, and here we must provide also an alert of type alert interface, which returns void, and here we want to update our alert stream. This is why this alert dollar dot next, and we are providing inside our alert. So we are calling from the outside this function set alert, and it will update our subject. And when this subject is updated, we want to notify all our subscribers. This is why here I want to create get alert, which will return an observable of alert interface. And now here I can return our alert with Tola as observable. And actually this is a really nice way, because in this case our subject stays private and we have a public API like set alert and get alert. This is why now we can jump inside our app component yes, and here use the service. So inside constructor we want to use this alert service and we want to inject here our alert service. Now here we can create an additional method show alert, which we will call from HTML. And here we want to provide a type which will be our alert type enum. And now what I want to do inside, I want to call our alert service with method set alert. And inside we want to provide first of all a type that we just wrote and then some random text. For example, this is our test alert. So this is exactly how we will use our service from any place where we need to show our alert. Now we just need to implement a click event for show alert. This is why inside our app component we can add for the button a click event. And here we will call show alert, but I want to provide a type inside. And we don't have here types. This is why we can save in local property alert types our alert type enum. And now it is available in HTML. So we can write here alert types dot danger. And in the same way here, but alert types dot success. As you can see, we don't get any errors. Let's open a browser. So here we can click on show success, for example, but nothing is changed. And yes, everything is working, but we didn't change our alert component. So we must jump back inside our alert component. And here we just have our alert, which is wrong. We essentially want to remove this object completely and just say that by default, this alert is undefined, but it can be provided from the outside. Now here we need to write implements on init because we want to subscribe for our service. This is why here we must also inject our alert service where we are getting our alert service. 
and now here we can create and join it and inside it we can get our subscription from alert service for the alert and here we have subscribe and we can get an alert from our service and in our case it is always filled with alert interface this is why we can just set it inside our alert so with this code we are updating local alert property every single time when somebody is calling set alert. Let's check this out. Inside browser we don't see anything, we are clicking show danger and here we see red alert, we are clicking show success and we see our green alert. And the last thing that we need to implement is to remove our alert after some time. And we can easily do it here with the help of set timeout. So first of all here we need to save timeout id in the property. And by default it is undefined, but it will be number when we will set it. Now here I want to create an additional function reset timer and it will return void. So here what we want to do is assign inside this timeout ID our window set timeout and inside we have a function. And we want to close our alert after 3 seconds. This is why here I will write 3 seconds. And what we want to do here we want to set our alert back to undefined. So this code after 3 seconds will set alert back to undefined. Now we can just call it after setting our alert. So this reset timer. Let's check this out. I am reloading the page, I am clicking on the danger and after 3 seconds it will disappear. Everything is working, but we have a bug. If I will click on show success a lot of times, our alert will still disappear. Why it happens? Because we need to restart our timer every single time when we are making change. This is why here what we need to do inside reset timer is check do we have this dot timeout id. And if we have it we need to reset it. This is by window clear timeout and inside we are providing our id which is this timeout id. In this case we are restarting the set timeout every single time. Let's check this out. I am clicking show success and it will never disappear because every single click restarts our alert. And actually, if you are interested to know how to build a model inside Angular without additional libraries, make sure to check this video also.